I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go, but only to look for this light projector. And if Jacob doesn't touch it. We can end this. Find the prime candidate program. Ahoo! Yahoo! Talk to him again? I will not. He had his chance. He was making a little bit too much sense. I didn't I didn't like where he was leading me. He was overwhelming me with the sorts of questions where I said I don't know and he said check it out. Realnews.org just released a press statement. And I said I just got overwhelmed with information. <laughs> Telling me stories about Bill Gates' dad. Hold on. Prime candidate chamber. It's the yellow diamond, right? Okay. Dylan is what happens after six months in quarantine. <laughs> Dylan is what happens when you come back from your ayahuasca trip in Costa Rica. Sorry, I just, I just, I keep, I keep poking it just to see how people respond. I'm just checking. Ayahuasca's in Peru. They franchised, sweetheart. Where did this come from? Okay, well, I'll tell you where it came from. Uh, I was on a sports subreddit the other day, and out of nowhere, somebody left a comment that said, uh, COVID-19 is a hoax. And then I think their argument was like, even look at the name of the virus. Like COV stands for like compulsory opportunistic vaccination or something like that and I was like I gotta see what this guy's deal is and then literally it was just hockey posts and then every other subreddit he participated in was like a different type of psychedelic and I was like man this guy got some bad ayahuasca and that is uh that's that's how I got there. That's how I got there. Okay. I think we're going straight through here. Too much of the spirit molecule. Why Costa Rica? You, you know, that's fair. I shouldn't besmirch Costa Rica. Which Central American country did John McAfee live in? Is that Belize? Okay, Belize is the new... That's the new location for that joke. Wise. A wise move. Hold on. Hold... Hold on! I need your health elements. Your health elements. Hand them over. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. That, that went bad. Um, I guess it doesn't even matter uh, if they heal when we kill them in one right bumper hit to begin with. Belize is tiny. It's only about half a million people. Yeah. And about eight of them were part of the John McAfee group. Any thoughts on the Jesus blood? <laughs> you don't need me to say it. If you're not familiar, there was a lady, she went to church and she got interviewed by somebody that was like, what do you think about the fact that you coming here could be, you know, leading to you uh, 
you know, infecting other people. And she said, I'm not worried about it. I have, I'm covered in Jesus' blood. Jesus' blood will protect me. And I was like, ah, shit, dude. <laughs> we are fucked. What are you talking about? You never heard of Zoom? Just do this shit on Zoom, lady. It's okay. I'm telling you, God's going to do you a solid on this one. I can't officially say that because I have no idea. But my hunch is that a benevolent God would be like, you know what? You can, you can work from home. You can worship from home today. There's other stuff going on. Jesus uses Discord? Hell yeah. I, prim I I would worship any god that uses Discord over Skype, at least. That <laughs> would be great. What, a, what about a sketch comedy show where, um... Like, the, the streaming services have started to pick up exclusive rights to broadcast different denominations of worship. They're like... Ladies and gentlemen, come back to my Twitter feed tomorrow at 6 a.m. for an exciting announcement. We have just announced DLive has picked up the exclusive rights to broadcast Baptist ceremonies of worship. We're really excited about this. what this means for the next step for our sect. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Excuse me. You trying to shoot a grenade at me, sir? That could be a good uh, a good sketch. It, it it needs a lot of punch up. Don't get me wrong. There's some punching up to be done, but uh, that sketch could work. Not that I have a, an avenue for it to begin with. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, this just in. Netflix just picked up Shinto. What does this mean for the state of online worship? Probably up one floor. Keep using circle to try to get rid of the map, sir. It's not, uh, that's not the way. Did it literally again right after saying it? This is the bathroom. That's the bathroom. This is the way. Excuse me, I need to I need to go to the right, please. Why are you closed? Don't give me enemies I can't fight right now. If you'll just allow me to take a take a look at my map. You gotta go via security? How'd you get in here? I can break these bars. I mean, that's security up there, dude. Oh my god! These boneless dudes are too good at fitting through. All right, here's how we're going to do this. You're going to explode and let me in. Ladies and gentlemen. Stand clear of the closing doors. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Can I just have a second? Just a second of thought? This is throwing me, dude. I think I, I guess I gotta go through the medical wing. That makes sense why there's enemies here then. 
You just find, they give you little breadcrumb trails of enemies. Can you not, dude? I'm a little strapped here. A little strapped for space. We're free? We're free. Circle. Circle does not close the map. Circle with the map open does a dash that you can't see very well because the map's open. <laughs> okay, thank you for your health elements. Do I have level six security clearance yet? Oh my god, I do, but I can't go in there. I, I haven't I haven't learned goo dispersion yet. Or can we just fly over it? Nope, that was a terrible decision. Let, let me back, let me back, thank you. Okay, let's not do that one again. What's considered cringe in Canadian culture, but you secretly love it? I don't know if anything is considered... Like, I don't know if... I think cringe in Canada is the same as cringe in America. Well, I guess... Okay, you know what I actually consider cringe, but I don't secretly love it? Tim Horton's advertising campaigns, and really any country's advertising campaigns that rely on telling potential customers how Canadian you are. <laughs> I'm begging you, dude. I'm begging you. Like the Tim Horton's ads. They get me every time, dude, because, like, they got sold a long, long time ago uh, in a galaxy far away to, uh, like, a multinational conglomerate based in Brazil. Whatever, you know? Who cares? But their ads are still, like, you know, Tim Hortons is an essential part of being Canadian. And you're like, well, do you consider it an essential part of being Canadian to... Um, lobby the government to not raise the minimum wage by like 10 cents an hour? Does that seem like a Canadian value? It doesn't seem like a Canadian value to me, but you know, I'm, I don't work at Tim Hortons, so maybe I don't know. Okay, hold on. Launch energy costs, strictly better. We like that. Energy recovery speed, absolute. Now we're talking. Headshot damage plus 63%. I do aim my shots very well, so I think this will be very helpful. Help me. How are you spending your coronavirus rel relief? Um, I didn't apply for any of the coronavirus stuff because my business is unaffected. Seems like a kind of a scumbag move to be like, I'm going to take this money that might put more strain on the system unnecessarily. It's not just honor, it's a crime in New Zealand. <laughs> I mean that in the, in the prime minister's address, he was like anyone abusing the system, we're going to we're going to get them. But like the the thought never even entered my mind to begin with. Even like 
Again, now th this is almost like uncomfortable for me because it makes me seem like an even better guy than I am. But they've granted like a ton of like no questions asked leniency. What the heck is even that? No questions asked leniency for like, you know, taxes and stuff like that. And I'm still like, eh, I'm just going to keep paying the installments when they're supposed to be paid because, you know, you're using this money to directly send it to uh, people that are in need right now. So this doesn't really seem like... I, I wouldn't feel comfortable with myself being like, you know, we're going to take advantage of this as like an interest-free loan from the government, basically. It's not there for me. I'm just, I'm lucky in the first place that, uh, that my business is relatively unaffected and just hoping that everybody's doing, oh, we gotta be faster. Hoping that everybody's doing relatively okay out there as best as possible. We're, we're missing one somewhere. Is it, is it you? <laughs> no, I don't like you, dude. If anything, this is like the time in my life where I've been the most happy to pay my taxes because it just deliberately or immediately goes to uh, the people in need. Where the frick? Oh yes, I did buy turnips today. The other way down the hall. Ah. You know what, buddy? I think spin is just better for that. We got a war. I'm free. Yeah, I bought, I don't know, maybe like like eight hundred, seven hundred to eight hundred thousand in turnips. But I think this will probably be my last big turnip week, because like I just have one more loan to pay off. And once that's done, I don't see a whole lot of point in just just hoarding bells. I did say that two weeks ago, but that's because I thought that I was guaranteed to get uh, a great turnip price. But I only got a small spike. Hello. So I need one more. I only have the second floor. I need to pay that loan and get the basement. Have sub numbers been affected by COVID? Um, it's hard to tell, so I would say no. This is not complaining. This is just me keeping you abreast of the situation. Text on screen, baby. But, um, like, CPM on YouTube right now is frigged. <laughs> I think because nobody's in the office to, like, buy advertising. And nobody's buying anything. CPM is like, well, CPM is like an ad rate, basically. So, like, you know, when a thousand people watch your video, you get X amount of, uh, of currency. But, yeah, on, on YouTube, the CPM is pretty bad right now. Which makes sense, you know, it's, that's one of the things you would expect to be first to go. It's also, like, I've noticed, especially, like, on Twitter... A lot of the ads, it used to be like, hey, uh, Quaker State is offering, like, you know, a discount on oil changes, blah, blah, blah. You know, big companies. Now, sometimes on Twitter when I see promoted tweets, it's like, hi, I'm Dave. I'm a cool dude who's trying to, like, launch my new business. And I'm like, hold on. Hurtva, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. And I'm pretty sure, like, ad rates are so low right now that it's actually plausible for, like... A home business to, to get a lot of impressions. Which is kind of cool. Hmm. 
Why don't you run an ad? Honestly, I've never looked into it, but like... I think that paying for ads in a business where you then get paid by ads is a horrible idea. Like, I, I, I don't see that on YouTube ever being profitable. I could be wrong. I don't know. There's more creative business people than me out there for sure. I've seen ads for YouTubers. Yeah, but that, does, like, it, that doesn't mean they work. <laughs> You've probably seen abs, ads for Quibi as well. Just a large truck going by. Hold on. I'm like, I can't figure out the map, brother. I did the dash again. I'm losing it. What game did I play on the PS4 controller that uses circle for the map? Upstairs on the right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's definitely, you're right. 100%. It is souls me going to the options menu. Uh oh. That's okay. Well, I'm not gonna vomit. I'm not. I'm not gonna spew. <laughs> that would be perfect for TikTok, though. You're right. It would be perfect for TikTok. If I threw up on camera, it'd be a valuable skill. Now I'm like, am I going back? <laughs> the, the twisting corridors have got me all turned around, dude. How much would it cost to take out an ad campaign for your channel? I mean, I bet it's like uh, P6. You should be going to P6. That makes I sense. Wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. I mean, I bet you would pay like four or five bucks per thousand views to make the ads. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Finn, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. I think it's a very bad sign if you have uh, a wall that looks like that behind you. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. This is real Pepe Silvia energy. Anytime you find yourself making a board like this, you better be a cop. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is Dan trying to figure out who Trump Doy is. We need some slack. Hey, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. Philip Roberts. He was on fridge duty.
I eat stickers all the time, dude. I eat paper all the time. What I don't make a habit of is eating big mud pies. Just opening a shortcut for later. If you'll excuse me. Thank you. Thoughts on the bonus Tiger King episode? It's, uh... Oh, it came out today, didn't it? I have not seen it yet, because it came out uh, merely today. Hold on, there was one more door up here? There was one more door. That's the same door. Oh, no, 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 no. It is a clown pewter. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones? <laughs> oh, wrong? no. I don't want to talk to Uncle Mr. Bones right now. You can't ace every test, Meg. Wrong. Sedine vision. ESP. <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about Skokie vision. Man, it's just, just school. Right. You'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> I'm a very spooky guy. But I don't want the big chair. What if I don't want the big Got her! All right. Just a pretty normal PSA. You hear that? Is that just me? <laughs> Dan should get a PSA like that. He already has one. It's for Escape from Tarkov. It is a looter shooter. It is not a battle royale. Multiple people can win. This is going to sound foolhardy. I thought we'd come out this way, though. But then when I come out this way, everybody shouts wrong way. And I believe that they're correct. It's at the end. Okay.
Go to PP6 and then go left. W excuse me, what did you just say in my chat? Go to PP6 and then left? How dare you? How dare you? Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Well, did the game just spoil something for me? When I walked into the room, it gave me an outfit for P7. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The bureau is Jesse P7? But they just stood by you got it from the locker? Yeah. Or is it one of those things they don't expect you to recognize? But because of my superior intellect, I actually just spoiled part of the game for myself? I'm gonna guess the answer is probably yes. Find the ordinary AWE area. Ordinary. What happened in ordinary here? That's the place to start looking. Or not normal. Ordinary is in our town. Now I get it. They spoiled it again, dude. I can't get over the fact that town is called ordinary. Yeah, they should have called it something less ridiculous and more realistic, like, uh, Truth or Consequences. Or Dildo. Boner Bridge. Oh, I do have to go to turntable, 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 turntable. Transit corridor. I'm a simple man. You give me a square button, I'll... Ah, come on! You give me a square button, I'll press it. 